Another bit or example of HTML that we can insert is something from Google. There's a lot. With your site open, come over to the Contact Us page and open that up. Come in here and take the text frame. Your text frame is probably pretty tall. With the selection tool, go ahead and click on it. Drag the bottom up just so it's not quite as tall. Click to deselect and scroll down. We're going to put a little Google direction down here. So go to your browser. In your browser, go to search, go to Google or some other search engine, and type in, it's going to be kind of weird, but type in Google, and I tried searching for driving directions, but Google Gadgets. That's what we're going to search for. You'll find the Google Gadgets for your web page. It's google.com slash directory something or other. Click on that, and you'll see this. These are all of the different gadgets you can add to your web page. There's some amazing stuff in here, like calendars and things like that. Come up top and click on, or, set, or type in rather, driving directions. Now, I already did this just to make sure. Go ahead and search. You're going to see this one right here, directions by Google Maps by this person. Click on add to your web page. It'll take you right there. It's going to look like this. It's, not, it's going to be kind of unassuming, to be honest, but it's going to do some really cool things. Come down here. We have to set up how it works. Come to Origin and type in an address to start from. I don't care what you type in. I'm going to type in San Diego, and I'm going to destination Los Angeles. You can do whatever you want. So I'll do Los Angeles, California. By car, what direction, uh, what language you want. You're going to see it automatically. These are your default settings now. So you can change the title if you want, um, like directions to our office or something like that. Put a width, put a height, change the border color if you really want to do that. It's up to you. I mean, you can see what it looks like. None of these are very like stellar. Anyway, click preview changes to make sure it's updating itself up here and then get the code. So click get the code and down here is where the code is. Select the code, copy it, you can also right-click copy. Go back over to Muse. On this page, go to Object, Insert, HTML. We can also just paste. You don't have to do this method. Delete what's in there and paste. You can right-click if you want or use shortcuts. Click OK. Take a second. There we go. Drag it up. Put it where you want it. I'll put it right about there, you can see the smart guy is trying to help me out. Come to preview, click on preview, and let's check this out. You're going to be surprised by what this does. Okay, if you want to, you can obviously come in here and enter your own. You can do all sorts of things. Click go. Check that out. It's going to give you turn by turn directions essentially that you can go out and view as a larger map. You can print this. This is live. You can go in and zoom. It's just, this is phenomenal. This is, kind of, this is the kind of stuff that just blows me away. And anyway, go back to design, and there we go. We've got ourselves Google Driving Directions. Go ahead and close up the Contact Us page, save your site. The next thing we're going to do is talk about the multimedia you can insert into pages.